custom painting cars and pinstriping cars, that goes back as far as the first hot rods that were built. When guys would break down a car and then rebuild it, they wanted something unique and something that set their car apart. So the tradition of custom painting and lettering cars goes back to cars being built themselves. I first got into doing custom paint and pinstriping with my dad's company. He started Star Custom Paint back in 1977 in San Antonio, Texas. Did custom paint on thousands of vehicles. It's just the business I grew up around. I'm working right now on a 1949 Chevy Gasser. The customer had seen the work I'd done on the Jesse James Chopper and wanted something that was period correct and looked like it had been done possibly back in the late 50s, early 60s when the car was originally put together and that's what I'm working on right now. I collect old hot rod magazines and I've been around uh, the culture my whole life and I try to make sure and choose typography and design elements that are accurate to when the car would be put together so that when it rolls out of here it looks like you can't tell if it's been sitting around that way for decades or if it was just done. What I'm really passionate about is these old hot rods, old rat rods, you know, authentic cars built by people that are passionate about their cars, they know about their cars, and they put the sweat into building their cars. If you're a guy with the brand new Accord who wants a pinstripe down the side, I'm not the guy for you. Uh, if you want uh, a piece of artwork on your car, that's what I do. The piece on the trunk, that's just old school hot rod stuff, you know, uh, putting the you loose so as the car passing somebody, they're kind of a little bit of an insult. And the, the skull piece I did is a sketch I did based on some old 1950s skull tattoo art. I did a technique called engine turning, which goes back to the 1800s with fire engines. It's a process where you use essentially just a piece of velvet and you spin it to put microscopic scratches into the finish that kind of gives it a hammered metal look and that really makes it pop out in the sun piece I did on the dashboard, the owner of the car purchased the car in Tennessee from a, a guy named Hillbilly Tony. He asked me to kind of do a little uh, piece for him somewhere on the car that would kind of reflect that little bit of the history of the car. And so I did a, just a little cartoon sketch with some lettering on the, on the dash to tie that in. It's incredible. It's, it's not just lettering. It's not just pinstriping. I mean, it's true art, and uh, you can't get that kind of work done just anywhere. People like coming to me for my work because they want it to be genuine, hand-painted work that was done back when the cars were originally built in the 40s and 50s and 60s. I mean, you can't get that look and feel uh, with stickers. So the customers that come to me, they want their cars to look legit. They want them to look accurate. And that's, that's what I do, because I use the, the same techniques and the same design elements that have been used from day one. <laughs>